are we okay are we realtor reacting yeah oh okay hey guys welcome back to another episode of realtors react where my partner robert mack and i are going to react to some amazing real estate photographs and videos on the screen so let's check out what we got inside cristiano ronaldo's 43 million pound which is approximately five fifty 51 million dollars <laughs> worth of luxury homes. He's so, got like eight homes, obviously, right? Obviously, yeah, he's trending right now because obviously Cup. the World Cup and he's like the best player on the planet and the most followed person on Instagram. Best we just player learned on that. The planet. You know, I guess in the consumer's eyes, right? Inside of, uh, it depends on who he, you like and what team is your favorite, but he's... He's polarizing, he, let's just say that. He's up there. Yeah, he's got a beautiful family. He's yeah. got multiple properties. Mm -hmm. He's doing what smart people should do with their money, investing it in Investing real in real estate yeah. and watching it grow over time. So yeah. yeah, he's got about, his estimated net worth is $500 million. So 10% of his estimated net worth is in real estate. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Smart guy. He's diversified. He's only 37 years old? 37 years old, yeah. Wow. So this is this is in Manchester, Alderley Edge, Manchester, and it's probably on. It's a beautiful manicured lawn. Yeah, it's probably we're on talking a gorgeous about, amount of land. Well, we're talking about. Well, this is probably the backyard. It yeah. looks like the backyard, but that's one thing that we always like to talk about is lots of people when they're talking about selling their home, they're always focused on the inside of the house. Yeah, but the but outside. But so many important. people forget about the outside, the backyard, the front yard, the curb appeal. All that stuff is so important because you want to captivate somebody that's looking to come by your place immediately. The minute they drive up and get out of the car is when you want to yeah, start that. Right. So you've got he's you've got, got a crew. staff, you've got a, a you've crew. got a management crew for the, sure that does I would say two to four people. Windows, landscaping, they're all separate probably people that do different things. And then also you probably have someone that just keeps up on the on the exterior of the building. Weekly recurring yeah. maintenance, yeah. For, sure. for sure. I mean, we're dealing with this right now in a property we're under contract on. The, the, the home has a house manager. Yeah. And the house manager manages all the maintenance. So yeah. the homeowners can just live in there and not have to worry about anything. Yeah. They, they have like, they have a house manager, they have a caretaker basically is what they do. So they have someone that goes and like, flushes the toilets and cleans the home. You yeah. do all do all that stuff to keep the home in working order and maintenance on it. Well, it's sure. like a car, right? Like yeah. if you don't turn a car on for a couple months, the battery might die, right? Yeah. So opening, you leave something empty for a really long time, it just starts to deteriorate. You have so, property managers for yeah, sure. Yeah, you have property managers, there's people that check in on it, but this is not uncommon for somebody who's in, you know, a $500 million net worth to have you know, eight properties. Yeah. You know, some of the homes that the clients that we deal with that are buying multi-million dollar properties, this is their third, fourth, or fifth home. Yeah. Um, they have them in different parts of the world, different parts of the country. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, some of these bigger, massive homes, they do, you find them a lot. Like we've seen it. We we've personally, we've personally seen, seen it. We went to a few in Newport coast. We're like down on the level where there's no sunlight. There's just, there's a pool yep. in there, you know? Um, it's kind of a thing, but it's also like the third of the four levels that it has. It's a massive like six or seven or 8,000, maybe even more thousand square feet home. Yeah, I wouldn't say that they're common, but they're definitely a thing. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the indoor pool. I kind of feel like when you get into those areas, there's this humidity vibe and it smells like chlorine. So for me, pools equals being outdoors in yeah. the sun. Right. Um, but it is a thing. We've yeah. actually seen it. And both that I've seen were in Newport Coast. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's beautiful. That modern architecture, I like that. All the lines. Yeah. Again, it's probably sitting on a nice piece of land. You can just see, he's, I mean, who knows, but that's that's beautiful. And, and the swimming pool, outdoor. Yeah. I, I feel like I would see this property like in Cameo Shores you, or in Irvine Terrace. Yeah. Like you, I, I could see like in an And LA, you'll see it in LA a lot totally too. LA. You'll see this vibe in LA. Beverly sure. Hills. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, in those high net worth areas, you know, these homes were originally built in like the 50s and the 60s. People now, it's prime real estate. They're tearing these properties down and they're building new ultra modern. luxury modern mansions. Um, and so this is not an uncommon style. Yeah. Especially in Newport Beach. Yeah. I, I think originally the Infinity Pool started 
when you had ocean views yeah. so that you can't see the edge of the pool and you can't see where the start of the ocean is. Right. So it's like you're in the pool and you're like, whoa, it's just endless water. And it just looks like an illusion so, that it's going all the way out yeah, to the ocean. Yeah, al although this is an infinity pool, the concept I think is just being reused here, but doesn't really create the the actual yeah, it's just, it's that about the for. smooth, clean transition with like no drop off or line, basically. Yeah, it's kind of what clean it's about. And it, it goes along with the theme of the home, right? Totally. But yeah. the, the original infinity pool is to create an, an infinite view of water. Right. Oh, I see what you did there. Yes. <laughs> in Lisbon. Is wow. that Spain? Is Lisbon in Spain? Portugal. Portugal. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I would imagine having a, a 3,100 square foot, probably very luxury high rise. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine him having a luxury high rise. These are very popular among the ultra wealthy because this is a situation where you, it requires little to no maintenance, maintenance at, all. at all. You walk out, you lock the door, and you could leave for years because there's a building manager. If you're out of town, you can call the building manager. They can check on your unit. Um, nobody can get in because there's doormen. There's no uh, lawn. In, in, yeah, in <laughs> fact, I was watching a YouTube video on um, Billionaire's Row in Manhattan, 57th Street, where like 65% of the buildings are empty year round because that's like a fourth or fifth or sixth home yeah. for most of these like ultra high net worth people. So having something like this in his portfolio makes complete sense.